Hello, this is the Violet Cat. In this video, I'm showing you what my altar looks like when I have it decorated for a full, full moon esbat. So I'm just going to move out of the way and you can see the differences in the stuff that I have on it. So first of all, I normally have a candle holder on the purple cloth that's right here that looks like this. That's what I've been using on most regular days. But for a full moon esbat, I use this one because it has images of the moon and stars on it, as you can see. And it has some little blue beads and the silver, the blue and the silver color of this holder reminds me of a full moon. Because the silver makes me think of the luminescence and the light of the moon, and the blue makes me think of water and the subconscious. And for me, that's something that comes into play a lot around the time of the full moon. The subconscious and dreams and things like that. And then the other thing on my altar that I change is I set my full moon water out. And I do that on the pentacle plate that I have here. Normally this pentacle plate either has nothing on it or might have something else on it. But for a full moon as bad, I put the water on it right here. Because what I like to do is I'll take some rainwater and I'll put it into here at first. Then I'll pour it into this dish so it can charge. And I might do some, you know, divination or just a meditation with the gazing into this dish with the water in it. And I'll let that sit out overnight. A lot of times I'll put it outside so it actually can get direct light from the moon. And then I'll actually pour it back into here and it'll already be charged up. So that's what so that's what my altar looks like for a full moon as bat. And the one last thing that I wanted to show you is that I like to wear this pendant. And I really do feel like um, the moonstone makes me feel connected to moon energy. So this is a pinkish colored moonstone. So I will wear this pendant when I'm actually doing my full moon as bat. In my Esbat ritual, I actually have one that I wrote out myself, and I like to cast a circle, and I like to sometimes dedicate the ritual to a specific deity that I wanted to meditate on. I haven't invoked any deities before, but during full moon Esbat, sometimes I will meditate on a specific deity, or I'll, you know, ask for a dream that I think might help me in a situation that I'm in and I like to do that during a full moon ritual because for me the moon symbolizes the subconscious and deep desires and secrets and things like that. So anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and thank you very much for watching. Many blessings.